So have you, what sort of results have you seen in Mia's progress since she started with Heather specifically? Specifically, uh, Mia's definitely a lot more focused now. Uh, she's a lot more engaging with people. Um, you know, we had seen a certain degree of improvement with that over the last couple of years especially, but certainly in the last six months has been um, a dramatic improvement with that. Um, she's, um, you know, learning things, doing things that she's never done before. Um, we noticed in the first month of nutrigenomics, she said two words that she had never said before. <laughs> she said bye and see ya. In perfect response to somebody who was saying bye and see ya. In context. Her. In context, exactly. Um, that was a moment, yeah. It was huge. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How do you, how do you see? How's it affected you as a mum? You know, watching her. Is it like a blossoming in some sense? Absolutely, absolutely. You know. Um, excuse me. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, having, um, you know, a, a child like me or in your family has a big impact on your family as a mum. I think yeah. as well. I always felt that anything we did with Mia that involved um, handing over the responsibility of Mia's development was limiting her ability to learn. I always felt that um, they weren't recognising Mia's full potential. And, um, you knew as a mother that there was so much more that she could be doing. Absolutely, absolutely. So I felt if, it, if she was going to reach her full potential, it was up to me to find the way. For so many years, it, you know, um, it was really frustrating because I just felt like um, everything that I was doing was not, it was not helping. Mm. And you know, it was gut wrenching because it was like mm. I don't have control of the situation. You know, I, it's out of my hands. Do you think the DNA has something to do with that? The fact that you can read the DNA, like Heather, can read the DNA profile and you're right. like, you know, this is what needs to be done. It's the, you know, I kind of get. I think we see it as like a, our, our blueprint. Absolutely. I think she's more physically able to carry right. out what she wants to do. Okay. For example, uh, she was in her room and her door had been shut and it's not usually shut and I heard her in the morning go up to the door and fiddle around with the door handle. Now she's done this before when the door's shut and I just waited, I didn't get up and rush to the door and open it for her, I just waited to see what would happen and after about five minutes she actually opened the door. Oh. So, you know, that physical... She was able to do she it. She was able to do it. She was able to turn the knob and pull the dog door wow. towards her and walk around it. Wow. <laughs> so that was huge. It's huge. That's huge. She's just got yeah. so much more mobility. Yeah, a lot more mobility. They're using an interactive whiteboard in the classroom and asking me a, um, questions in relation to the activity. And on one particular day, we were only about four weeks into the nutrigenomics. Um, they had written down the comment that me had. Um, she got them six out of six correct questions. And wow. That was just <laughs> such a moment. Wow. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. It's like, oh my God. You know, I yeah, so beautiful person. Just, yeah, and Inside continually us. continuing to, to to reach these, you know, kind of milestones. So mm. Mia's only limitation is limitations that I put on her. So um, and I, I don't put any limitations on her. But in saying that I always knew that there was that element missing that would help her to reach her full potential and now I feel we've found that. So in the next 12 months um, we're going to put together a development program for Mia and um, really hone in on um, intervention more than what we ever have before. So um, yeah, it's exciting.